episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey and today I'm going to be adding a Cyclops to my watch here. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Cyclopses and uh, I think it adds a little bit of interest to the dial. Plus as I'm getting older my eyes are getting weaker and sometimes it's not so easy to see that uh, tiny date there. Actually this one's even not too bad in size but regardless we're going to be putting on a Cyclops today and I'll be showing you how to do it. Now, the nice thing is uh, when you add a Cyclops, it's very easy to put on and to remove as long as you use the right glue. Um, now, I sourced my glue off of AliExpress. Uh, same with the um, Sapphire Glass Cyclops as they come in a, a package like this. You can get these on eBay too. You're going to pay a little more and then you've got shipping charges as well when... You buy with AliExpress, there's usually no shipping charges, or it's very minimal anyways. And you can get them in different magnifications, as well as shapes. Um, you get round, and then you get the, this kind here uh, that's uh, more rectangular. And then you get the one they call like a candy bar, which is for a day date like they had on the Seiko. You can also get those. Um, you know what? Before I do this, I'm going to quickly show you two watches that I have done. Here's a Seiko Sumo. And you can see I added the Cyclops here. I did this one some time ago. This was my very first one I did. And you can see it magnifies very nicely and is very crisp and clear. And again, this isn't an acrylic uh, piece of glass. It is sapphire. So it's, again, very scratch resistant. And the main thing is when you put these on, you want to be dealing with a glass that is flat across. If it's domed, uh, good luck. It's probably not going to work. Um, haven't tried it. Don't want to. But it would stand to reason that it probably wouldn't work unless it's a very slight dome. But anyway, actually, is this slightly domed? Uh, I don't know. It looks pretty flat. But anyways, this uh, was one of them. And uh, the second watch that I did was this one here, my Squale. And you can see this one isn't magnified as much. This is a smaller magnifier. And so if you don't want a really big one, you can go for something like that. So I think it really adds a little bit of interest to the watch. I don't think a, a date just would look the same if it didn't have the Cyclops. So uh, for me to add the Cyclops to my just purchased uh, Tudor Glamour date uh, made a lot of sense. But anyways, enough with that. You've seen the Cyclops. Here's the glue that I purchased off of AliExpress. So GS Hypo Cement. Okay. So that's the glue. And basically, it's kind of like a contact cement, but it dries very hard. Um, just to give you an idea how hard, I've got this Hamilton airplane of mine. And the legs, um, the when you put them in, they just kind of fall all over the place. So I decided to bond them. And uh, it's stayed very solid for... I'd say it's been four, four or five months now that uh, the the legs here for the wheels have stayed on very nicely. So anyway, uh, it, it, the, the glue is quite solid, and uh, but easy to remove too. All right, so I'll quickly show you how I do this. Now, the first thing you need to do, now this is going to be a little bit trickier for me than usual because I've got the camera in front of my chest here. So I'm going to get in a little bit closer for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. So the first step is to obviously clean the watch thoroughly, okay? Uh, soap and water. I use uh, toothpaste. Uh, clean it up, rinse it off, and uh, you're good to go. Just make sure that when you're uh, rinsing the watch off that your crown is screwed down tightly. If you have uh, a 50-meter water-resistant watch, you've got to be very careful not to get water into the to the case. So be careful not to get too much water on the case back uh, or on the front. Just kind of, you know, damp. Uh, but this is a 100-meter uh, 
water resistant, I believe. I think it's 100 or it could be even two. I think it's 100. But anyway, uh, this one you can get fairly wet without any problems at all. So here we go. Let's get this done. So your first step is to get the glue. And uh, I'm just going to move this in focus here or into the view of the camera. You unscrew this. Now this is easy to unscrew, but I'll tell you one thing. Getting that little tiny needle back in that hole. Holy crap, man, that's not easy. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and you don't need much. All right. So that's all I need there. And uh, let's see if I can get this in first try or not. Probably not. It's always a bit of a challenge. Yeah, see, there you go. Okay, we got it. Not going to bother <laughs> making you guys watch me try thread that in. But I'll put the glue off to the side here and we'll get to this now. All right, so I did the same thing with the Cyclops earlier. Uh, I cleaned it off. Make sure your fingers are clean too. Wash your hands. You don't want to get oil or anything or film on there. So again, there's a the Cyclops there that I'm going to be gluing in place. So obviously you want the flat portion to go onto the glass. And the nice thing is because the glue is quite uh, slow setting, you have time to manipulate it around if you're not happy with the position. All right, so I'm just gonna get some glue onto the toothpick here and uh, then we'll uh, get the Cyclops on there. So there's two ways to do it. You can put it on the glass, uh, which isn't a bad way. You can just kind of put it on top there where the number is. And don't worry if you get a little bit too much on there. It's not a problem. You can just um, wipe it or scrape it off without much difficulty at all. All right, so just a little bit more you don't need a whole ton but you want to make sure that you you have enough all right so that should be plenty of glue there and then i'm just going to drop the cyclops down and uh, get it positioned as best i can and like i said don't panic or anything you can move it around definitely so let's start manipulating this around to a position that i'm happy with Okay, that's definitely not straight. So let's kind of move that around a bit more. Okay, that's still a little bit off. Let's bump it that way. And like I said, don't panic. You got time. So you got like a couple minutes anyway. I don't know. That See, that to me looks pretty darn good. Okay. So check it on a few different angles. If you're happy with it, uh, which I am, I think uh, that's going to do it. I'll just zoom in a little bit for you guys so you can see what it looks like a little bit closer. All right, so that's straight on. Like I said, don't worry about if you've got a little bit extra glue. Now, for me, I'm looking at it straight on now with my eyes, and it looks pretty good. On the camera, I know it looks like it's off, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. And you can see that line there is kind of all lining up. So you just kind of want to look across. Some people use tape in that. I don't bother. It doesn't have to be absolutely flawless. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So that's basically it. I'm not going to bore you guys with the cleaning up details of the, of the glue. Obviously, the longer you wait to do the final cleanup, the harder it's going to be to remove the glue. But while it's still soft, you can see it's, uh, you know, I got some here. It comes off pretty easy. So that's it. That's how you put a Cyclops onto your watch. And like I said, it's not a big deal to remove it either. Um, so if you're thinking about doing it, just go for it. It's a DIY, very easy thing to do. Um, and it kind of makes the watch a little bit more unique for yourself. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey. If there's anything else that you guys would like me to show you how to do even the very basic rudimentary things like maybe sizing a strap. You know, the straps are easy to change in and out. It's uh, you're just using spring bars basically. And then bracelets, they can be a little bit tricky. Some are screwing, which are probably the easiest, I guess. And then you've got push pins and you've got pin and collar. All of them are pretty, pretty easy to use. Some people don't like the pin and collar system. I, I love it. Once it's in, it's in. There's no chance that the screw's gonna fall out. When you're dealing with bracelets that uh, have uh, screw-in um, links, 
uh, you have the chance that it may come undone. I'm just going to show you there. You can see the screw in links there. You can see it's got a screw head right there and there. And the, the key is uh, to use a little bit of Loctite, okay, when you put them down. Now, you don't want to use the red stuff, which kind of locks it in really solid. Uh, go for They come in color codes, but you want to get one that you can undo. And I think that's the the blue which is pretty firm and i think there's even one other color that's a little bit uh softer it doesn't quite uh dry as hard but pretty basic to to do strap changes in that um if you don't already own a, a basic watch kit i would recommend that you get one from amazon or wherever <clears throat> just get a basic one no need to spend a lot of money 20 25 bucks at least you got some very basic stuff see if it's for you uh, you can do basic things uh, and uh, you're good to go once you get a little more into it you'll start to want to, to get a little bit better tools um, one set of screwdrivers that i would really recommend and it was actually my watchmaker that recommended them and it's the euro tool this one i picked up uh, off of uh, amazon and it was uh, i think it was about 25 bucks 30 bucks which is a lot cheaper than uh, Bergeron, but uh, this is a, almost a must-have. Now, these are all flat heads, so it's not all different st uh, style heads. It's not like you got a Phillips and a Torx or this and that. They're all flat, uh, So, um, but these are the most common used, and I would highly recommend these to you guys, so Euro Tool. All right, so that's it. That's a wrap, guys. Hope you enjoyed that episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey. Again, if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. Your support is supremely appreciated, guys. Take care and have a good night. <laughs>